So after posting my Sony a7S III 3.0 firmware update video, some comments popped under the video and some of you guys were saying that the a7S III is now overheating after the update. And there was even a funny comment that was saying This is what I find so cool about Lumix cameras, you can update your camera and it won't blow up, great feature. Yes, I find it to be very funny but most of you don't know me and I need to tell you this upfront. I am not a Sony fanboy, I love Lumix cameras. The only problem here is that I have moved towards the Sony system before Lumix or Panasonic made the huge update for the autofocus and um, before they implemented the face detect AF. Anyway, enough talking, let's see how the A7S III is doing for myself after the 3.0 firmware update. Welcome in the studio guys, I am Flash and here I am with my Sony a7S III after the 3.0 update and it uh, didn't melt yet. So if you have overheating issues, the first step that you need to make is in the settings and check the auto power of temp to be set on high. This is very important because if it is set on normal, the camera will overheat quicker. This is one of the settings that will pop up on the creators app after the update and if you missed to check it uh, right there after the update and modify it to high, uh, maybe you have it set to normal and this is causing your overheating issues. So if that was causing your overheating issues, please consider subscribing because you don't have any reason not to and don't forget to give this video a like because it will be pretty helpful to help the video um, catch the algorithm, so thank you. Also, it is worth mentioning that I have never experienced overheating with my Sony a7S III, but I am handling overheating cameras daily and those cameras are my both a7IV which I am filming with right now. I am using this a7IV for 3 plus hours every day for streaming, for HDMI clean output and if I am not a bit careful with it, it will overheat. And let me tell you how I am using it to avoid overheating and also please consider that if you can handle an A7 IV to not overheat, the A7S III will definitely not overheat because it is not as warm as a camera as the a7 IV. So the only way to use the a7 IV in a continuous way of 3 plus hours every day is by setting the auto power of temp to high, to flip out the screen and to be a bit careful about the ambient temperature because if the PCs are getting very hot, the air gets hot in the studio and the ambient raises and if it is very hot, like how to say, if it is hot enough that you are starting sweating in the studio, maybe the a7 IV will also get a bit uh, uh, more hot than it should. So opening a window or turning on the AC helps and uh, this allows me to use the a7 IV for uh, HDMI clean output which is the same in my experience as a recording to an SD card for 3 plus hours every day on my stream and um, the A7S III, if the A7IV can uh, live in these conditions, the A7S III will uh, definitely can without any problem. Also there is worth mentioning that I use the A7IV powered on by a power brick and connected through the USB-C cable to the power source. So the battery is charging and then uh, the camera switches to the um, uh, cable power and uh, this uh, will uh, work like somehow like a dummy battery. And also flipping out the screen is not only to protect the camera or something like this, I do this every time because if I don't open up the screen, the camera will uh, show the overheating sign and it will overheat at some point and Ok, so now back to the A7S III overheating issue and after reading all the comments I have decided that of course I need to test this. So the best way to 
test the overheating issue was to use the camera as I use it in my uh, daily work here as a YouTuber on my main channel, on my secondary channels and so on. Like the organic way was the best way. And the thing that popped into my mind after seeing all these comments was that when I was updating the A7S III during the process I have checked the temperature of the camera while updating because I was thinking that it will get pretty hot during the update since it took so long and the camera uh, to my surprise was really cool like it wasn't even warm and now three weeks have passed since I have updated the A7S III to the 3.0 version and here I am in the studio and I didn't have any overheating sign on my Sony A7S III. So during this three week period I have used my Sony A7S III the same way I have been using it before updating it. I have filmed the entire process of building an ultra high end gaming PC which took like 10 plus hours and it was not only uh, filming b-roll but also filming the assembly process and some talking heads. Of course I've used my camera to do the daily stuff that I do like take it everywhere and film everything that feels interesting and also I've done some vlogging with it and yeah nothing popped out onto my screen. And of course I have started questioning myself why these guys in the comments have this overheating issue with their Sony A7S III after the update. And since I didn't have any issue I have started thinking about deleting everything that is related to this video that you are seeing right now and move on. Maybe reply to the comments in the comment section and explain that I never experienced any overheating and yeah that's it. But I came across a YouTube video from a 70k plus uh, YouTuber and the discussion in the comment section of that video was pretty interesting because some of the guys out there were talking about the third party batteries and how Sony made after this update the camera to be... Um, not overheat but uh, be more warm with the third party batteries in a way that uh, maybe they want to force you to use the original batteries and from the past videos maybe you know that I use only Sony original batteries, no third party batteries and maybe this is why I am not experiencing any overheating. So if you are using third party batteries in your A7S III maybe this is the issue, maybe they've changed something because from what I know the camera can recognize the original battery and also if you are not using it and uh, yeah maybe they have done something in the firmware to let's say discourage people to use third party batteries and this might be possible who knows but the only advice that I can give you is to try to use the original battery in your Sony A7S III and pull your screen to the side and see if the camera is still overheating. From what I know the cooling in the camera is made in a passive way of course and it is made by some thermal pads and the cameras might differ from one A7S III to another A7S III and another A7S III. So yeah I hope this video helped you and if you don't know how to update your A7S III to the 3.0 firmware check out the video on the end screen because the process is easy and the camera gets a very nice menu that might help you in your creative journey. The